Hello and welcome to a very special, very exciting, very spooky video. Um, what we're gonna be doing, it's a vlog, if you can't tell, I mean, I'm not holding the camera, but um, I will be because I'm going to be taking you on a shop with me. I forgot what we were doing here. <laughs> um, because I have been shopping till I drop for some spooky things. Hot Harry Potter, of course, um, because if you don't know, we do a Harry Potter Halloween every year, and this is going to be our second year doing it. So I have been out on the streets, a walking, trying to find spooky things that fit into a Harry Potter Halloween, and I've been recording it. So I'm going to take you along with me, as well as, I mean, it's just a kickoff to fall, okay? That's what this video is. It's a kickoff to fall and Halloween and all the things that I love and the holiday season. And we have so many videos coming to your eyes eyeballs um, that are spooky, that are, you know, Halloween-y, but always Harry Potter. Um, and then there's also going to be a little bit of a fall haul at the end. And we're going to do a little cliche thing at the very beginning. But before we do, if you're new here and you want to be also check out my eyeshadow, I'm branching out ever since that She Glam video, I went and got an orange eyeshadow palette. So thank you so much for <laughs> twisting my arm and making me do it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Cause it's been really fun to play. But anyway, if you're new here and you want to be a part of a community that believes weird is wonderful and magic is real, then hit that subscribe button right to here. Right here, did we just lose focus? We lost our minds. Um, and be notified every time there's a new weird video. Okay, let's go. We're gonna start this thing off strong and tasty. So the very first thing that I thought that we would do is the obligatory drink. We did this in the last vlog, but I mean, it's fall season. So I thought I would try doing a pumpkin spice latte. I have never made a latte in my life. And I'm just gonna go all in and do a pumpkin spice one and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it real good <laughs> in my burrow mug. Um, I'm pretty sure this is from Seeker and Slade. Really, really love this mug. It's got like an old, like, it's just giving me fall vibes right there. Check out this sweater. I got this at Nordstrom Rack. It's so soft and it's that perfect rusty orange. And we're gonna be getting into some more rusty oranges, but first let's get into some drinking because you know, I need caffeine apparently. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna be using this local coffee from Stumptown here in Portland. So we're going back to old Nora Cooks, who we used for the birthday cake. Um, and we are cooking on the stove here. So medium heat, two tablespoons each. That daggone refrigerator, I tell you. Grumpy refrigerator. And then we're gonna be using this barista oat milk. Like panicking, it's not as much coffee as I. Whoa, my God. Okay, we have our brewed oat. Oat? What am I looking for? Pumpkin spice um, latte. I guess I can say oat latte because we used an oat milk. So let's pour it in our burrow mug. I'm doing this without any kind of funnel, so wish me luck. It doesn't quite fill the cup all the way, but that's okay. We've got plenty more coffee. And then we are on top, um, totally forgot to take the whipped cream out of the fridge. So she's a little cold, but I think with the hot coffee latte, it'll be just fine. Well, it doesn't have that um, Instagram aesthetic, but um, life is not Instagram. So <laughs> I'm just saying, and I can't really show it to you. So I'm just gonna taste it. So here we go. It looks like ice cream on top of it. Wow, that's good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna, it said you can like add more um, maple syrup for sweetener. I don't need to do that. Well, that is really good. Highly recommend. I'll put the recipe down below. If you enjoy a pumpkin flavor, it's a very strong pumpkin flavor, but it's got a nice amount of, you know, all the other cardamom and nutmeg and all them spices. So we did it. We've got the pumpkin spice um, alive, which makes fall official, right? 
And now I'm going to take you shopping with me. And do keep in mind, this is like over many weeks since very early July, because that's when Halloween stuff drops. And I have been out every day, pretty much. It's been a lot. So you might see many outfit changes and kind of going back to places because that's what we do, because uh, we're trying to make this Halloween extra special this year as we do every year. So come join me. We are going to be hitting up um, Michael's, Joanne Fabric, and Spirit Halloween. I will say I did hit up Home Goods, um, TJ Maxx, Ross, and I think there's one other place. There are other stores that are, they, they're later on. So like Target is later on. Any place that has like um, school supplies are later on. But as of this recording, people are going back to school. So that means that's going to be around too. Um, but for those places for Ross and all of those, they're all the same thing basically. They didn't really have much. I don't know if I'll include footage. If I do, it'll be really brief. Um, they had a lot of Halloween, but they did not have a lot for a Harry Potter Halloween for like that dark artsy feel that we're going for. So I don't want to waste your time. I'm going to take you to where I got the goods. So let's go. You guys, it's our first bit of Halloween. I They normally put stuff in the front section, but I forgot to check. So I just checked some aisles. So let's see what we've got here. So we've got these kind of like viney things. I like this one. It's a nice kind of earthy, slithery green. This is where all of the plants are, the faux plants. We've got some wreaths. Um, and then these have been done before because we got a couple of these, if you remember in our Halloween video, I think one of each. I think this is new. This is definitely new, but I'm, I'm not sure I care for it. This is interesting. Do we want to do this? It's kind of creepy. Hand of glory, maybe? I don't know. Um, and then if you're looking for a cauldron set, these are glass. These are from last year as well. They're black, but they work. Um, ooh, what is happening here? Okay, the face is a little odd, but I like this side of it. So if I only showed the one side. And I'm getting an I Am Groot vibe here. Anybody else? Okay, these are interesting. This could be like a specimen situation. It is glass. So that's a plus. These um, coffin glass things, we have one of each. So that is from last year as well. What else we got here? We've got some, this can give like a little potion vibe. I'm not sure what's happening here. It is plastic. Ooh. What is the, uh, is that the bezoars? No, the little flies. Um, Wizarding Truck did it. You can just get a bunch of flies, look at that. Okay, might do something like this. It's slithery. they glow in the dark. Um, okay, we also have these test tubes, which are hooked up here. We've got a black one. And then all of this stuff here, which is, tends to be quite cheap in my opinion. So I don't think we would get anything over here. Although this is interesting. What would I do with this? A quill maybe? A faux quill? So let's see if I pick anything up. Also these like mossy things, um, they bring them out every year, but these could work for like a little town, like a little Hogwarts town. This one's a little odd. And then I didn't see this skull. Did you see this skull? I think I could use a paint job, but you know, fun guy fits into. Harry Potter, so it's possible. Okay, let's go Halloween. Look at this. Enter into Halloween. Um, we have a lot of fall going on here. So normally over here would be Halloween stuff, but they have not transitioned that section. It's a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, one thing I will say about Joanne is they do, like they're doing a 40% off sale. As soon as they drop Halloween stuff, they do sales where Michael's generally does not. They do their sales at the end. So let's see if we can find anything else. I'm not impressed Joanne's. I'm just not impressed. I mean, I got some things at Joanne's last year, but it's really for a certain aesthetic and I don't feel like a lot of it, at least the Halloween stuff, maybe some kind of colors within Halloween. Um, would fit into a Harry Potter Halloween. So I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass. It's a hard pass, jo Joanne, <laughs> okay, I forgot your name. Okay, I am back at Michael's, but it is a different location. And you guys look behind me. Ah, ah. 
these are the colors I'm looking for. Like when you first walk in, I'll show you the area. It's a very cutesy section. They always put it out in the front, but then they normally have like a witchy section. Look at this right here. We're gonna take a walk around, see if we find anything that would fit into a Harry Potter Halloween. So come along with me. Let's get spooky. All right, this is the front area and this is where like the cutesy stuff is. So let me show you that. And not only cutesy, but like really bright. So this would work for somebody, obviously. They always put the section out. Um, but these colors, this color palette, it's not a dark witch, um, like dark academia vibe, which is what I'm going for. So we're gonna pass on this section. Although there are little end caps like over here that have little things like this. Um, we've got some candle glasses with branchy trees on them. We have, are these candles? Color changing. Oh, interesting candle. We've got some headless, um, ravens, crows. I'm going to think it's a crow by the size and just candles and some like kind of, what do they call these? A votive, right? That's what it's called with bats on it. Of course, I always look at their spooky town. They're so cool. Let's go around the whole section. Oh, look at those, 66. I wish there was something in here that would fit. And sometimes I do see things like, look at this. How cool is this? Like all the details and the little skeletons. Oh my God, this is my season. I love Halloween, I love Christmas. I love celebrating. So let's go over the section that I think would fit us best. Oh, and this is on the other side. So they always do like wax candles. I mean, they tend to be wax candles. <laughs> and um, so we've just got a lot of different candles, skeleton candles, um, gold dripping candles that could fit in. Hey, look, we've got a... Um, spine candle. It's not well done at all, but if you're looking, I was going to say a more affordable, $12.99 and always use coupons at Michael's, just like Joanne. That could work. It's not great, but hey, if it's an Harry Potter. And I just think the things that would fit into Borgen and Burks, this is kind of cool. What do I think of this? Okay, over here we have gravestones. These are normally like styrofoam made. And I will hopefully be doing something with a gravestone, but I need a plain one. Um, but I might do some with it that are not plain. Um, what is this one? This is a double. Spirit Halloween also has gravestones, so I might take a look up. Look at that once they open up. Ooh, what's up, y'all? These are the animatronics. Oh, Lord. No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> what have we got over here? Okay. We've got some um, doorknob knockers. Is that what these are called? Coffin doorbell. Doorbells. We have a little owl one. That could work. Here is the other side of their animatronic section. We've got some like gravestones. These are mini gravestones. Ooh, they light up. And we've got a light up crystal ball. Like some of these things could fit in like this here. We've got a witch's brew and it looks like it like moves around and lights up. It's got a little potion-y top going on there. Not so sure about these. Um, and then I think this mirror was here last year. Yeah, that's not going to fit into a Harry Potter Halloween, <laughs> but I love spooky things anyway. So that is the animatronic section. Okay, let's turn the corner. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is my section. This is my jam. I mean, I'm seeing Edgar Allan Poe right now, so that's my guy. Oh my God, you guys, look at this section. So before we do, they normally have this kind of like lovey section, like, I don't know, Halloween meets Valentine's Day, but sometimes I find things. So we've got um, some spooky signs. So a lot of purples you're gonna see if you can't tell down the way here, but um, we've got some mushrooms that could fit in. I don't know that I, oh, that's actual glass. That's nice. This guy is kind of neat. I'm always a sucker for anything with snakes and a skull head. And it's on this base here. The detail's not too bad. The snake, 
The face is a little cutesy. I'm very particular on snake faces. Um, these, oh, what? These were around last year and I got, I think it was like the crow in one of them and maybe a skull in the other, but look at this. Is this like not giving you little shop of horror vibes right now? It is for me. And we got this upside down hanging bat, um, some skeleton hands. A lot of, when I see a lot of this um, purpley stuff, I know it's a lot of people's jam, but for, um, oh, this is cute. Look at this little bat. He's hanging on a branch with a little spider. That could totally fit in. Bats could fit in to a Harry Potter Halloween guy. These were done last year, but they've added some gold embellishment. I prefer it without the gold. Um, this mirror is new. The detail is okay. And then these bats, I got them last year. So I recommend they definitely fit into a Harry Potter Halloween. Look at this little potion-y situation. That is neat. It's kind of almost perfume bottle-y, but it's a different vibe for what could be a potion. I'd recommend that. You know what? I think we need a basket. We gotta go with the black, of course. You know what I'm saying? Keep it dark, you guys. Let's grab two of these. We like to go for odds when we're picking out stuff. Uh, I will show you in more detail once we sit down and bring everything home. But look at that. So cute. We'll do two of those. A fun, a two. Very Borgen and Burke's vibe. Yes. I'm just so excited to even find anything here, okay? Because this is the kind of stuff I was seeing at the other Michaels. Um, I almost said Joanne. We gotta go back to Joanne, but let's keep shopping. Also, I didn't notice this. It's not my cup of tea, but I've seen some people do some really cool, like, gold um, greenhouses for their mandrakes and stuff like that. Um, if you wanted to swap it and give it a spookier vibe, that could work. Okay, let's see. This is real tempting. Ooh, the snake. And then there's a pink one and a purple one. I could see the pink also fitting in. Maybe like fit that in a, um, like a prophecy area. Does this come out? I hate when they do that. Why? Why, Michaels? Um, anything else over here? We've got a little baddie situation. We're getting real baddie with it. And we've got a lot of the faux flowers. Um, we have, these were here last year. Some candelabra holders and what else pillows there's just lots of like kissy skeleton types this mirror not mirror this frame is kind of cool like if you wanted to they have one that's um like a rounded shape if you wanted you could harry potter that up with something behind it that's interesting i'm sure it's probably like yeah 30 bucks way more than i would spend for just the frame portion um, this is a very interesting hourglass. Okay, so that's the whole lovey-dovey spooky section. Let's go to what is our jam. I don't know what they're calling this line, but first off, it's just the color palette. Like, look at this. This is more of a Borgen & Burke's color palette with a little bit of pops of orange. I'm seeing some repeats, um, but we could look all the way up there. We've got a witchy hat here, which is like... um. Uh, I don't even know if that's ceramic. Look at this. Look at this. Can we get up here? Witch's Lair. Dare. Do you dare enter? Can we read, Aubrey? Oh, my word. Okay. We have some little potion bottles. We got a spider and a bat and a cat and a cauldron and an owl. Like, come on. These fit. I don't love this top portion here. I would probably like... And what is happening with this? That could go... Um, okay, and we've got Ouija thing, Halo, and then these were here last year. I do have one of them. I prefer the color that I have. I do like these. They light up. Let's see. Can we do it? It's not a very strong light, but because I have a prophecy orb that is um, much brighter, it's a good balance. We don't want everything popping, you know what I'm saying? Um, we've got some skeletons. We've got an eyeball. This feels a little out of place for this color palette. It's giving me like, I don't know, country vibes. These were here last year, although it was less of a creamy color. We have a cauldron. It looks like the top comes off and it's got like a brushed copper color. I don't think I would pick that one up. 
Um, we have witch house, pretty basic, but that works. And some containers. Look at this cute pillow. It is giving me Hocus Pocus vibes for sure. Is it soft? Yes, it is. It must be soft. Okay. Then we have, I think they had these last year. Again, if you're not going to let me take the thing out, wait, is it because I'm one handed? No, they glued them in. Why do you do that? There's so many uses you can get out of these things if they were not glued in. Um, they always have a bunch of crows. So here is one. It's got like leaves around a branch. It can work. Hoping nobody steals my scooter here. We've got some fake plants. And what's over here? Some witchy boots. Here are the signs. These are the signs that tend to go fast. They've also got some things up top. <gasps> one's up there. Okay, I, I quite like this one. They had one that was a darker background last year that I really liked and I missed out on. I think I would probably want to go darker. Um, it's a lot of Salem-y vibes, which is why you're seeing this and kind of a Hocus Pocus feel, um, which some of that can work. This skull was from last year as well. I have that. And these, they just did a different variation of these. And these lids should come off. Yeah, these come off. But I think the variations last year work better. This is also from last year. I did pick it up because it gives me like Mad Eye Moody vibes, even though the paint job's kind of okay. And what's down here? We got a cat shelf, a witch's collection. We have a cauldron that says witch's brew. The one thing about Michael's and just like places, Michael's and Joanne's is the paint job. It could be better. Um, Ooh, this was here last year, but it looks like they did a little bit different. And it does say Mr. Hyde, so I wouldn't get it for that reason. But it's like their cabinet of curiosities. So we've got like a little snake and a bat and just all sorts of little skeletons like you would see, you know, in a little museum or something. Um, spells cast here. I feel like I have a better one that I got from Big Lots. Look at this little toad. That's pretty cute. I have a toad, so I have to really like it if I'm going to get it. I saw a bigger one up top. Then we have some hourglasses. This is the one we saw over there. This hand is a variation from last year. It was a dark hand, if I recall right. Um, some, some more Salem signs. Oh, here's that toad. A mortar and pestle. That's all right. This is a bigger size. Like I feel like maybe this one I could put outside next to the cauldron maybe i don't know and then we have some like potiony um kind of herbology vibes going on there you could put something label on it you can have either fake plants or real plants coming out we've got some jars we've got books we've got a raven um i think they did something like this last year which gives me some vibes from the um uh, Snape uh, specimen collection. Oh, this is interesting. This is giving me, I'm not going to pick this up, but it's giving me like a follow the butterflies meets uh, Borgen and Burke's vibe. You know what I'm saying? So we've got spiders, we've got butterflies, we've got books that could fit in for sure. It is a plastic outside. So I think I'd pass on it, especially because I'd want to touch up the butterflies and this is sealed. So there is no adjusting it. Then we have a potions and spells sign. You know, there's a lot I like about that. I wish the background were like a darker wood, like a, a reddish dark wood, but maybe we could stain it. So now we're getting into, let's see, be a witch, some more signs. This is the toad that I saw way up here. Um, some jars and oh, this says magic. I didn't see that interesting that could work um we've got this pillow really pretty which is pro really soft i like that kind of orange i'm picky on the kind of oranges that i do um for a harry potter halloween and then is this this is just a wood block so i'll pass these things are kind of all right but this is tempting mm. <laughs> yes what else? So this is where we get into like the Edgar Allan Poe situation. 
Welcome, foolish mortals. Oh, this is what I mean. They always do kind of a, a pedestal of Poe. We've got um, the typewriter here. Nevermore literally says it on there. So that is a Poe reference. I'm a big Poe fan. I even have this, but I want to change out. I totally forgot I was going to do this. I want to change this out to be like Borgen and Burks or, you know, something creepy that would fit in. Um, more skulls. We love us some skulls. We got a little headless horseman up here. Trick or treat. We don't do a lot of like trick or treat stuff because that feels very muggle-ish. Um, and I don't want to use like terminology that feels muggly. Um, this is another one that was done last year, except it did not have the beak. I prefer just the wings. And yeah, just a lot of, oh, so we got some Sleepy Hollow, but mostly Edgar Allan Poe vibes over here. So that is the witchy section. I'm gonna see if there's anything I wanna pick up. Maybe this toad, maybe? What do we think? Is this a Trevor? I have a Trevor, who are you? Trevor's friend, um, Travis? I don't know. <laughs> do you see what I'm seeing? I think they have more this year too. This is cute, you guys. <gasps> okay. Okay, we are back at Joanne Fabric, um, Joanne's, and we're gonna be looking for the Halloween goods because I'm pretty sure everything has dropped. They do often do a second line, sort of, later in the season, but let me show you. I don't have high expectations because uh, of the way it went last time I checked, but we're gonna go find out and see if we can find anything that fits into a Harry Potter Halloween. Let's go. This front area line is the area that they often bring a second line in later in the season. Um, that mirror could work. Again, I'm just not seeing a lot that I would get. This is kind of a repeat, but it's more of a glossy look this year. I do have that one. Like some of the skulls work and many do not, okay? I didn't see this. This one's also kind of interesting. What does it do? Oh, the candle lights up. Kind of a darker look so that can be more of a um, Borgen and Burke's look if you like it. Well hi there. <laughs> this is one of the uh, sections. It's the witchy section. Mind my scooter that sometimes has stuff and this section over here we've got I think this is a plastic. Yeah a plastic cauldron. They do have some ceramic cauldrons but um it's just not dark enough for me. It's not working, okay? Yeah, we got a snake with some moons. They did a better job last time. All right. <laughs> I think, oh, excuse me, get out of my hair. I think that's a wrap here at Joanne. I'm sorry, it was brief, 
but like, this is what I have to deal with. Yes, I'm being critical, okay? It is a fabric store. So I didn't have high expectations, but I did find stuff last year. So I don't know if I just wiped them out. They normally have a line and they did in the front. That's kind of a witchy line, just like Michael's, but it's just really cutesy. Um, and then some of the witchy stuff, when it comes to Joanne, it's all down with the paint job and it wasn't great. Like the three tiered skeleton with the um, candles. We just couldn't get around to the candles. It didn't look realistic. So that's it. I'm sorry. It was brief. Um, little skeleton here. I'm sorry, but I think that's a wrap here at Joanne Fabric. And we are back from this shop with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun, um, but I wanted to wrap up with some goods. You can't, you can't do any video without any goods. I am going to be saving the goods that I got from those particular shop with me's for future videos for people that only want to see those things, for the boring people, okay? I'm saying it right now. But I have seen some 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 fall things to show you, um, like fall cozy, and they are kind of like color palette stuff, but we also have licensed things, like straight up Harry Potter things, because we always want to put some Harry Potter in here. So I'm gonna start with the like fall things that I did get at some of these places. We'll be boring off the get-go. Um, I picked up this. I'm all about scents. In fact, I was looking at um, my cabinets and I have too many scents. So I probably shouldn't have picked this up. Wow, she's bright. It is one of those like essential oils with the um, reed diffuser things. And it's called bourbon pumpkin, which is not normally something I would pick up. Anything with the word bourbon, I would not normally pick up. But I felt like the bottle was like a very kind of vintagey old like apothecary feel to it. And I did smell it and it was not like a strong bourbon smell. It's really nice actually. Actually it kind of smells like that pumpkin spice. I'll tell you what, almost. So I picked up a scent and then last vlog we did, we picked up some flowers for springtime. So now I have picked up some flowers. They're dried flowers for, and broken apparently, uh, fall Halloween time. Here they are. I really I think my favorite one is this one here. It gives me like Slytherin vibes, like, but it's got a touch of orange in there. And then we got some of these orange. I go for the fuzzy things always. And then some more little orangey bits. I don't know the names, if you know the names of these, but these were at Joanne um, and they're just dried flowers. And then we kind of balance it out with this darker one here and different shapes and all of that. So this might come out just as a fall decor kind of give more pops of orange and green. Uh, it's making me realize like fall season is kind of the time for the Gryffindors and the and the Slytherins to come out because those are the color palettes. I also got this <laughs> exciting stuff. It's a vase um, from Joanne and it is made in Spain from recycled glass, which is really cool. I like the shimmer situation, but I went with it because it's green. So I don't know if I'm going to put some of the flowers in there or a reed diffuser and just pour, you know, the oil in it. But it had the Slytherin vibes. Um, and then speaking of Slytherin, these two things, I highly recommend the jewelry section at Joanne um, because they have hair clips, they have like hair accessories, they have jewelry, it's the jewelry section, okay. And this one is a two piece hair clip of some snakes and they're like, a, like a little gem situation. So they kind of glitter, you know what I'm saying? So pick that up, whoa. And then this one I thought was really cute and it's gonna be a little bit of a DIY. It is, it is the same brand, this uh, Heidi and Joe. I go to this brand often every year and the line is crypts and cobwebs. And this is what I found. It's this little like prophecy um, orb. It has like stars inside it that I think can I show you? They'll flip upside down. So it is a charm. So it has the hook at the top. And I think what I'm gonna do, I might start off by just leaving it as is, but I'm gonna turn them into earrings. And then I might add like a shimmery, you know, lustery liquid inside that moves around. So I'll have to detach it. And then there'll be little prophecy orbs. When it comes to this year's Halloween, we are, you know, we are adding more things, but I wanted to have a little bit of a focus. So, I will just say these right here will be a little hint at the theme that I'm going for, at least in a particular area. So, you know, take your guesses. It might be obvious, <laughs> obviously. 
And then the last thing that I got that's just like fall decor and was literally from one of the places we went to, which is Home Goods, is this ginormous pillow. It's really big. And I'm only showing it to you because, well, I like it and it's really fuzzy. Um, and it's just that perfect rusty orange. Like I don't aim for a bright orange. It's just that perfect Halloweeny color. It goes really well with my outfit right here. It's super soft. And I think it was like $24.99. It's not on the cheap end, but it's nice and like plush. So I think she'll last a long time. Okay, let's now get into the Harry Potter specific things that are like cozy. What are we doing here? We're climbing into the back. Okay. <laughs> the cat's on the loose. She's ready for fall too. I don't know. So like cozy sweaters is what I'm getting. Anything cozy, because we're hopefully, hopefully cross your fingers, getting into cooler temperatures, because literally today is the first day that it's actually been a touch cooler. First off, I'm gonna show you two items that I showed you in a short. Actually, you would have seen these in a couple shorts. And these were from Hot Topic. I didn't, nobody guessed, but I did pick out two of the four houses of their brand new cardigans. I should have showed you the other one first, but the more obvious one. <laughs> but I got the Slytherin cardigan. I really liked it. These cardigans give me like Christmassy vibes with the um, like almost like a poinsettia flower on the bottom. Um, and then, you know, they have pockets, which is a requirement for me for cardigans. I only have a few cardigans that don't have pockets. And they do have like a bell shaped end, um, but I think they're pretty unisex if you ask me and it has the badge, patch, the crest <laughs> on that corner there. So I got Slytherin because it's on you know, Halloween time and Slytherin is my second house. If you didn't know, now you know. And my main house, what's happening here, is Gryffindor. So I picked up the Gryffindor one. I like them all. I mean, blue doesn't normally do too well on me, so I wasn't gonna be picking up the Ravenclaw one, but they were all quite nice. They have the same sort of pattern, um, but yeah, go check out that short if you want to see um, some really poor lighting. But if you want to see all of them, I did that inside of Hot Topic. Um, but really love it. And I feel like these colors are perfect for both upcoming holidays, just the whole holiday season. And then the next three items I got from a small shop. And I think it's the first purchase I made from that shop. And it is called The Common Room. Um, so any of you Harry Potter people might already be familiar be familiar with it, um, but it's my first time ordering and it is so pretty and so soft. So this is the one that I wanted first for a while. It is this like Gryffindor themed sweater. It's kind of giving me Freddy Krueger vibes for some reason. <laughs> I think it's just the thickness of the stripes. So I have to show you this up close because I cannot begin to tell you how soft this material is. So this is what the texture looks like. I will say keep this far away from cats because it's when it's a, a, a wider weave like that, it's just even easier for them to pull on it. Um, but it has like, it's got a little bit of like a white fluff to it, but I feel like that's what makes it so soft. It's really, really soft and it's got some nice bell shaped um, ends there on the sleeve. And I'm trying to think what size did I get? I think I got the small medium, the smallest size because it does run large. So if that helps in purchasing, um, that's what I got. So we got us a Gryffindor sweater. And then of course, I got my second house that will be perfect to wear in Halloween time. We've got Slytherin also from the common room. So you've got that nice silvery kind of color and green. No, ma'am, I think not. No, ma'am, I know it's soft. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I know she's like, but it's my bed. So there is the um, Slytherin one, same size for that one. Just so, so soft. Um, just be careful with it. Okay. And then the one that you've just seen a sneaky peek from will be perfect in like Christmas time. And it is their version of the Christmas sweater, but for Luna. So it's like this like pastel. I never thought I'd wear a pastel color, but I feel like it's really perfect for Luna. So it is a pastel blue with an L on the front. It has kind of like a high collar to it. And it's, I don't know what is softer between the two. Here's kind of a close up, and you could see how this is embroidered or embroidered, knitted um, differently from this kind of fuzzier area really, really, really soft. And this one is also a small, and this one's 
heavier. So there's a little more weight to it. will be even better for um, like winter time. Okay, the last thing that I got is not a sweater, but it is a cozy item. It is a sleep pant or AKA, you know, some pajama pants. So it is, what does it say? It doesn't really say. It's very um, kind of back to schooly. You've got the Hogwarts Express, platform nine and three quarters, excuse me, <laughs> and um, well, the castle. So let me show you up close and it's quite soft as well. I can't remember, oh, $24.99 is the price of this at Spencer's, really cool. I have not tried it on, this is a small. Um, I'm gonna venture to guess, I have noticed a lot of pajama pants um, are too long on me and they're just a straight, there's no like tapering in on the end there. So that'll be easy to hem if I need to. But that is everything. It's all my like fall, let's get um, cooler outside, please. Uh, stuff, Harry Potter, not Harry Potter, all the things. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the shop with me. I'm really excited to show you so many things that are gonna be coming out Halloween time, um, just all of September and October. We're getting spooky, we're getting cozy, all of those Thanks. So um, keep an eye out for the goods that we got from Spirit Halloween, Michaels and Joanne and many, many more. So much to show you. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, my magical friends, my magical friends, my friends, <laughs> you're magical. Remember to love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic. And I'll see you in the next spooky video. Bye.